Dude, it's awesome. Brian Kelly meeting again for the second time. What are the chances? I met Brian last year on Gray's Peak, and uh, he's from Wyoming, crushing it, boned. Uh, DGR strong in the mountains, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. So, what you. to the studio with the Adidas Speed Ultra in hand and a little dark chocolate. Uh-huh, don't mind if I do, a little post-run snack. There we go, how's everybody doing? There it is over on the shelf. Oh man, all right, good day up on Guanella Pass. There's the stats on your screen for the run, okay? Looking at just over 5,000 feet of vertical gain and loss, uh, 14 miles for the day. Testing out the Adidas Terex Speed Ultra. Actually, let me know who has, in the not the question of the day, who has trained or raced in other Adidas trail shoes. Let us know which one and how'd you like it, okay? If I'm not mistaken, this is my first Adidas trail shoe. All right, just I, so many shoes to test and I'm excited. I mean, I'll just say right now, I'm excited where uh, the direction that Adidas is going, that there's another player in the trail running shoe game, a big player, and I foresee quite a few more. Actually, here in Colorado, we do have some, um, I'll just say ambassadors for Adidas as far as in the trail running scene. So anyway, overall excited uh, to talk to you today about the Speed Ultra. Let's dive in. Here we go, twist, test, neutral trail running shoe, but um, I'm putting quite a bit of force and it's not twisting as much as I thought it would, actually. So that's interesting. A little, um, some uniformity to that midsole. And yeah, it's not loosey-goosey, all right? So we're looking at an 8 millimeter drop from heel to toe. 26 in the heel, 18 in the forefoot for that definitely medium, almost even lowish type of stack height in this shoe. We'll come back to that in a minute. Women's size 8, men's size 9 on your screen. Bear in mind, there's a little bit of dirt caked on the shoe. I got as much off as, uh, as possible, but right now I'm getting 8.5 ounces. Um, and I think that's what, actually, I think I had 8.3 ounces, somewhere right around there inside the house. Looking at 8.5 out of 10 for that weight score. Anything under 9 ounces in my size for a trail shoe is awesome. So good work there, Adidas. I'm loving the weight of the Speed Ultra. Moving on to that engineered mesh with abrasion resistant weldings, okay? Basically overlays through the toe box to help keep out some of that dirt, grit, mud, uh, and a little bit of the water, but you know, my toes were getting a little wet out there. It was fairly uh, muddy and wet. Okay, so here we go, semi-gusseted tongue. Now for me, my always conundrum and mystery with all Adidas shoes, whether it's road or trail, is the collar. I just think Adidas, Adidas, if we could figure out somehow to make the collar uh, fit to the ankle better, a little more comfortable, something's not, air. it just feels a little, like even just this, you know, definitely very, so there's the heel counter test, okay? That's my, I'd say, big drawback for the upper is the collar of this Speed Ultra. So anyway, uh, so that did impact. I would say that the, the tongue, amazing. I love it. But the lockdown was a little rough through the heel pocket, which is why the uh, lockdown score was not a little bit higher. There it is on your screen, seven and a half out of 10. And yes, it drove down the overall score for the upper a little. I would, I would put this closer to an eight or eight and a half um, man, you know what? Solid breathability. If you're doing trail racing in warm conditions or humid conditions or 
I think that uh, awesome. I'm going to say one of the highest breathability scores in my, you know, that I've tested in the last couple of years for this Speed Ultra. But the only issue is that heel is the collar. And then ah, we just got to figure out this back here. A D does. Okay. Overall score. There you go. And onto that midsole. So we've got a combination of boost and light strike, which I love the combo. I'm not a crazy boost fan, but when it's combined with light strike, ooh, was it the SL20 the first time I tested out? I don't remember exactly, but I like that combo, Adidas. It felt solid out there. And key point, if you enjoy a little bit of ground contact feel in your any shoe, whether road or trail, but if you like a trail shoe that you can just feel the ground, under your feet i'm thinking of some ultra shoes as well this is a good option for you but but you have to keep in mind that your foot if you're you know if it's a really rocky trail beware because you might feel some of those rocks through this light strike slash boost midsole overall ride and energy return better than expected 7.75 out of 10 and let's do the durometer real quick yeah yeah that's good it's good but for being a lower profile stack height and okay if you are uh, prone to rolling your ankle this might be another good option all right i say i have a little bit of tendency to roll my ankle a little bit out there on the trail so you know the higher the stack height the more severe that a rolled ankle could be so this again could be a good option if your ankles uh just aren't quite strong enough to handle the rocks the roots etc etc overall score seven and a half out of ten onto that outsole we've got continental rubber all right and not a crazy man not crazy lug depth and joseph and i my brother when we're out there talking on the trails like you know we talk about lug depth and it's right there on the bottom two and a half millimeter lug depth oh i love it adidas unbelievable thank you for putting that on the bottom so they're not that 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 deep which means the chances of you catching a lug on a rock or a root goes down, which means you might not fall and trip. Like I've, I've caught lugs, especially right here under the forefoot. I'm not going to say a, a many a times, but it has happened where you go down pretty darn hard on the trail. So combined with the lug pattern, I think you're doing a real solid job there. Adidas on your outsole. Eight out of 10 for the Speed Ultra outsole. Moving on to the fit. It should be higher and it comes down to the heel pocket. Ah, I get, yeah, just, yeah, there you go. Seven and a half out of 10. I wish it could be higher. No issues through the toe box. I'm going to go a little bit in the direction of a little, uh, plenty of room in the toe. Not too, like it's definitely not narrow. I didn't feel narrow at all through that toe box and yeah same with the midfoot as well so it doesn't i don't feel scrunched inside there at all comfort score nothing to write home about all right standard score seven out of definitely not falling into the plush category positives and drawbacks that drawback of course is the collar and the positive is it's the lower stack height i felt a little more in control of my foot strike out there training and i like that and actually let's dive into it right now how will i use this shoe who is the best for i'm gonna go with up tempo training and the possibility of a trail marathon or even frankly trail 50k it's a little heavy for racing for my liking but you absolutely could use this shoe for racing on the trails all right and i think it'll go the distance you know what let's say uh well let's do the price point first 160 dollars that's uh that's a little that's a little high there adidas i mean i don't know let's do this test as well i'm being much happier in the 140 category 150 at the most so one spot you know it's their racing shoe and so i don't know it's it just a, that's a little high for me so that's why it's not getting a great score there other shoes to buy all right the torrent 2 from hoka the evo speed go from hoka now I'm testing right now the Solomon Pulsar, which would be two ounces lighter, two and a half ounces lighter, the Solomon Pulsar. Okay, very good chance that could be my Pikes Peak Marathon racing shoe, just letting you know right now. And I'm going to say, you know what, it's almost falling closer to another shoe I'm testing is the Asics Fuji Lite 2. All right, so shoe quick specs for the Adidas Speed Ultra on your screen. Soak it in. One more time, there you go. Boost, light strike. That's also a great combo. 
just yeah i like that combo uh stack height 26 and 18 which again is placed right on the bottom of the outsole good work there and my early score not my 50 mile full review i'm undecided i don't know yet i'm not relegating it um i'm not relegating it but i just we'll see if it gets to 50 okay so stay tuned 7.25 out of 10 solid score okay not 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 in the eights but a solid score for really um i would say a company that's not known for trail racing right i mean come on so the adidas is adidas adidas is um is dominating along with nike the marathon road racing scene but i'm again i'm excited to see them make inroads into <laughs> no pun in, no pun intended into the trail scene moving forward 7.25 out of 10 all right so we'll keep testing here we go comment of the day shout out to together we run okay i don't i think together we run has a, a youtube job so sorry oh my goodness i there's so many running youtube channels out there anyway together we run thank you for commenting when i tested this shoe unbelievable footage and so inspiring i completed my first long run for the Chicago Marathon. I'm working for a sub four. I wore the Mach 4 because it's as light as it can be for a long run. Thank you, Seth. Together we run. I feel like you have a, a YouTube channel. If you do, I remember, I'll link to it down below in the description. Thanks for taking the time to leave a comment. I do appreciate it. And that question of the day, this has nothing to do with, well, actually it has a little bit to do in my case with running and, and work, but how do you delineate between work time and family slash friends time, okay? For me, I struggle a little bit because I work at home and I have strange hours that I work. That's one of the reasons, again, why we're getting the new house is that now I'm gonna actually have a spot in the new house for working and a spot in the, and then the rest of the house for life and family. And it's like, but how do you delineate? How do you make that, draw that line in the sand, especially now that we are all connected 24 seven, for better or worse, it's like, it, I think it's all so, imp so I'm really excited to read your comments down below. Hear your tips, your tricks, your ideas for making sure there's a clear delineation between work and family life. Oh, all right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Adidas Speed Ultra, we will keep testing and hopefully get it to 50 miles for all of you. So rather than later, we'll toss it to another trail shoe that I've uh, tested recently, maybe like the um, Endorphin Speed Trail or, you know, Terra Kiger, something like that right there, right there, right there. All right, come on now. Onward and upward, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.